Okay, good morning, ladies. I am, this is me first thing in the morning. How scary, right? Um, I am going to show y'all step by step what I do first thing in the morning to get moving, to get all my makeup on. And I'm going to just do this video and pause it as I go through things so we keep this video kind of short. First things first, I wake up and I will put on, before I put on my makeup, I will put on my daytime moisturizer. It has an airless pump so you can kind of gauge how much you have left. I do this every morning and I've had this since September. So I love this stuff. So I'm just gonna apply this all over my face and I'm going to use my ring finger. I also use my middle finger too. This was a good tip that was given to us at seminar. Just because your ring finger has the softest tissue, so you're gonna be a lot softer on your face when you use your ring finger for application. So I use two fingers just because I also like that combination of a little bit of a, of a firmer finger too. So apply this, and I'm gonna let that set for 15 minutes before I apply my next step, which is going to be my um, Silk Pore and Wrinkle Minimizer. Um, I could actually at this point too apply my spot on acne treatment if I had any blemishes I was trying to cover up. But for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to go put my contacts on, make my bed and do all those things um, and maybe even get my clothes on. So that's what I do with those 15 minutes I have before my next step. Okay, let's pause this. Okay, I'm back. Now it's time to do my beautiful Make Sense Silk. I just do a little bit on my finger. And again, I'm gonna rub this in with my ring finger. This stuff is awesome. It's a great primer before my foundation. So again, gonna pause this video while I let this set in for a couple minutes. Oh, and did you notice I got changed and put jewelry on? This is what I use my 15 minutes for. Make my bed, get my kids started on breakfast. Um, I'll have to change this lighting so I don't look so bright. But anyway, that's kind of how I get my morning started. Let's pause this and do some foundation next. Okay, so my next step is my foundation. I have been primed and prepped for a foundation and now what I do is I mix two foundations. One is called Dewy and this is a great foundation that is, it's, I get it in the advanced anti-aging formulation which is $60. Uh, there's also a Make Sense original foundation that's $50 and that is great for oily skin. I really recommend the advanced anti-aging if you notice that you have normal to dry or dry skin or if you just want the anti-aging benefits. So. This is fabulous. I also use this pearlizer, which similarly comes in the original and the advanced anti-aging. I just do about a half a pump of foundation, not even half, it's like a tiny bit of the dewy, and I mix just a teensy bit of the pearlizer with it so that I can take my stipple brush, and you can even mix them with it into your stipple brush if you want, like that, and then take my brush, dip it in, and then just dab this all over my face to give me a nice even complexion. And I'll tell you what, because I use the skincare as well, I have noticed that a little bit on foundation goes a long way. Um, and I just, sometimes I can even get away without wearing foundation just because I feel like my skin tone has really evened up so much since using our skincare. That said, I still prefer the look of foundation. It just gives me a nice finished look. Here comes the posse, they're all coming to join me. Um, anyway, so this is how I apply my foundation and I'll move on to my next step in our second segment. segment. Okay, so my next step in my makeup process is doing my contour, blush, and highlighter. And an awesome cool new trick I learned at a seminar, which is Acclaim 2017, is when you're doing your contour, they're having a happy morning. Um, you're going to take your whatever you're using as your contour color. I'm using my bronze blush since you can also use a darker shade of foundation. Um, I know some people who use garnet shadow scents, but you're going to create a an acute angle because it's super cute. And basically pretend there's a line coming down straight from the outside corner of your eye and going up to your ear, about right above your ear. So see that line right there? If you, if it was to come straight down and come up to your ear, follow that line and um, contour up. You're not gonna contour down. I think that's what I've actually done in some previous videos and I learned that that's wrong. So, contour up. So I'm gonna start right here and I'm just gonna go up. And it's okay if it looks a little heavy because you're gonna even it out in a second. So, contour up. And I'll do that on the other side next. Okay. 
now that I'm all contoured, <gasps> yep, our next step, will you brush that on my face? Our next step is to blend that all together. Yep, just go up and down. Yep, perfect. And kind of dissipate that sharp line a little bit so it's not so heavy. So you can just kind of lightly brush up and down. Okay, let's do this side. And kind of move that around a little bit. So you can use just a bigger fluffy brush. So you can see that line's already gone away a lot. You can also contour down the outsides of your nose. Um, I know people that go around their face, but those are the main areas for me. Cheekbones and slim up the nose a little bit. Okay, the next step is blush sense, and you're going to work your way up. I like this idea. So contour, blush, and then highlight right above the cheekbone. And I'll show you all my favorite blush, which is our blush sense. I use the color cherry. And what's fun is if you just want to combine two steps, you can actually mix cherry blush scents with the pearlizer that I used on my um, foundation. And you, that way you can get more of a highlighted look on your cheek. So, let's do... I, this is so fun. So let's use this blush sense. Ready, Cozy? Will you help me? I just put it on the top of my cap, as you're seeing here. And I'm just going to go in an upward, little, upward motion with little circles on, on my cheek, above the contour, into my hairline. I feel like cherry blush sense is about to be squirted everywhere. So... There we go, that's our cherry blush scents. I'll save, I'll not do eyes and lips in this video. Y'all know how to do those. Or at least I've done other videos on them. I'll do some more later, but. So that's contour blush, and then I'm going to highlight. And you have a few options on highlighting. You can use a pearlizer. You can use um, one of our shadow scents colors. Sandstone pearl is a great one to highlight. And you can actually just take that and apply it directly on your cheek and then just kind of buff it out and that way you have a nice highlighted look. I've never used sandstone pearl before. I usually use, um, let's see, I've used my pearlizer a lot. I also have used um, a silver product, but I've heard that you can use mocha java shimmer. Any, any shimmer eyeshadow will look great. Uh, I think copper rose, mo no, no, not mocha java shimmer. I forget that I said that. Pink opal shimmer, sandstone pearl shimmer, um, and actually I'm going to use sand pink opal shimmer. Let's do that as my highlight today. I'm feeling like that'll be really pretty. Pink opal shimmer, sandstone pearl shimmer, copper rose shimmer, and, uh, there was another shimmer that I'm forgetting. So those are a few of the shadow scent shimmers you can use as your highlighter above your cheeks and above your eyes. Any place that the direct sunlight would hit that's a high point of your face, down your nose, tip of your chin. So you're just, you can highlight those areas and that kind of gives that finished contoured look. So if I just take this, I can actually just use it. You can see, and you're gonna highlight right above your cheek. Do not highlight under your eyes. That's one thing that's a common misconception. People try to highlight right under their eyes, and that actually will settle into any creases that are there because frost, frost settles. I just missed my tube and like totally got my fingers all covered in pink opal shimmer shadow scents. Um, but you can just highlight the tops of your cheeks there, and then buff that in and I think my daughter just stole my brush that I would use so I'll just use my blush brush and kind of softly push that into my my face oh and I'm seeing I didn't swirl that good enough on my cheek either so let me buff that out a little bit again there goes the highlighter just kind of stipple that in a little bit and I can now highlight too above my eyebrows down my nose just use a little bit whoa that's a lot of highlighter. I've never highlighted with pink opal before. This is kind of fun. And actually what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna use my finger to stipple it because I don't want blush above my eyebrow up here. Use your ring finger. It has the softest tissue on your hand. Kind of buff that in a little bit with your finger. just kind of lightly tap as I'm going. So there's my highlighted look. I know you can't really see it in the camera that well, but I am really loving this. I might continue to buff a little bit so that I don't look quite so uh, highlighted on my nose. I feel like I overused it a little bit on my nose, but now it's time for lip sense and shadow sense and my, the rest of my eye makeup, but my face feels fabulous. I feel contoured, highlighted, and pink blusherized, and I uh, hope you all have a great day. Bye.